yeah, he's Batman in the back. I love Batman. the Batman symbol. Yes. yes. You can't see him, but this is Arnie. Oh my god, Arnie. really? Yeah, from Terminator. That's awesome. Yeah, my my room is very plain, so unlike your room there, Maxwell. Which no, is this is the conference room. And sways. I'm not this fashionable. <laughs> Uh, how you doing, guys? How's everything? Good, great. great. It's gone. How are you? All right, thank you. I've been stuck at home for a long time, so you know, such as it is. Are you guys? Are you guys uh, back? Are you guys at school at the moment? Are you? Are you back at school or are you? Uh, are you working? Uh, I'm actually homeschooled, so not much change for ah. me. But yeah, yeah, me too. Well, my school went five days a week, so now like there's a lot of kids in the building, all wearing masks. So it's kind of weird. Uh, I'm going to tell I'm going to show you my age now because I was 10 years old when the Mighty Ducks came out. Can you believe it? I don't think any of you were born, would it? You wouldn't have been born. No. No. Proves, proves my age, doesn't it? That's why I like Batman and Terminator because I'm so old. Oh, all right. <laughs> uh, but it was so nice to see see the show, the new show. I saw the first episode and it's great. It's great fun. Uh, I just wanted to, to begin by asking maybe Brady, I'll start with you and we can go around and you can all answer. Did you know what the Mighty Ducks was and did you know what you were auditioning for? when you went up for the audition? Yes, I knew what the Mighty Ducks was. And in fifth grade, I went through like this crazy Mighty Ducks phase where I just, everything in my life was all Mighty Ducks, Mighty Ducks posters. I wanted to do the knuckle puck, triple D, triple D. All I wanted to do was roller hockey, ice hockey, all that. So it was, it was, it was great. And when I heard that I got the audition for it, I was so stoked and I was super excited. I ran home, read the, the script, all the sides, rewatched the movies, took notes everything so it was incredible that's cool that you knew because there's a lot of things that you can't talk about these days if you guys had been in a marvel uh tv show or something you probably wouldn't have been able to say anything about right. it uh maxwell how about you did you know of the mighty ducks before you auditioned yeah i hadn't watched all the movies i had just seen a little bit of the first one and then um i knew the of the anaheim ducks and i knew that they were named after the mighty ducks but then I got the audition, and right as the audition came out, they released the Mighty Ducks to um, uh, Disney Plus. So I watched all of them. My little brother watched all of them. He loved them so much, and I was—I I knew what I was going into, and I knew it was going to be great fun, and it was going to be incredible. Yeah, well, you do well on the first episode. I'll be honest with you. It's nice yeah, to see. Nice to see it back. Uh, Sway, how about you joining the joining the cast and everything? How excited yeah. are you for for the show and everything? I was definitely super excited. I used to be a figure skater, so a lot of people kept telling me to watch the Mighty Ducks. And um, as soon as I got the audition, I was like, okay, this is the right time to watch it. So I watched the first movie, and I absolutely got hooked. It's such a good movie, and it's it's um it's actually really empowering. And I love how they bring the underdogs to the championship. Um, but no, it's such a great movie and, and finding out that I'm auditioning for something like that and bringing back a franchise like that is it's so honored. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, you got to go, you got to see and meet the wonderful Emilio Estevez, who was part of my childhood, obviously with White Ducks and a few other things. How is it, how is it working with him when you got to work with him? Uh, cause he's, he's a bit of an icon, a bit of a legend. Uh, Sway, what was it like meeting him and, and working with him on this show? The first time I met him since I've, I watched the movie. I was definitely starstruck. Um, I think every, I felt like I think everybody had a little bit of starstruck in them. I probably showed it the most, um, but I, I called my uncle right away. I was like, "He's here!" He's like, "No way!" And um, my whole family was super excited because they're huge Mighty Ducks fans. And um, no, just getting to meet him, he, the, Emilio Estevez and Lauren Graham are sh just so sweet. And and they're obviously big celebrities, but they don't act like it at all. They're super welcoming and, and kind. And they give you so much advice on set. They they always tell us, um, uh, they always talk to us about the, the whole show. And then they kind of in, in, uh, enlist us uh, throughout our set days. And um, we definitely miss them a lot, but um, they were just super sweet. And Maxwell, how about you? And I just noticed, Maxwell, actually, before you answer, you've got a bit of the Sean Astin about you. Has Thank anyone you ever so told much. you that? You do. I've just that. noticed. I've just much. noticed one of the Lord of the Ring, one of the Goonies, which is yes. also our, yes. our website. Hey, you guys is based on the Goonies. So, Thank you so I, much. sorry, I didn't mean to, but you do. You sitting there just said, I was like, Thank it looks you like much. you could play. Yeah. If Sean Astin has a biopic at some point, make sure you get in there. And yeah, I get that a lot, have, actually. You so just have to walk into the room and just, just be like, come on. It's me. It's me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, how was how was it working with Emilio and, and all the others, Lauren Gray and was, all the people like, for you? He said it was incredible. Um, yeah, Emilio watching The Breakfast Club, I love that movie so much. He's just an icon. So the fact that 
I got to meet with him and hang out with him every day. That was, it was really fun and an incredible journey. Yeah. And Brady, how about you? Because obviously Lauren is your, is your mum, you know, it's not every day you get to go to work with Lauren Graham as your (laughs) mum. So yes, it was, it was was incredible working with both of them. They're such, such legends in the industry. And, and to say the least, they are very well respected by everyone in the cast clearly because they're so incredible. Everyone look up. Everyone looks up to them. I, I'm sure I can speak for everyone when they say they're extremely easy to work with. Great actors um, and just purely incredible to be up that close and see such big, big stars and how they function in different situations. It was it was incredible to, because you can implement that into your own into your own career and try and try and mimic certain things that they do to become a better actor overall. And I think a lot of the things that they've done, I picked up and hopefully better, bettered myself as a person and as an actor. Absolutely. Now, Sway, you said you were a figure skater, so you had the skating down. Uh, boys, how, how was your skating before, before you got in? Did you have to learn how to skate or is there a bit of camera trickery to allow you to, to do the things you do in the show? Uh, Maxwell, maybe I'll start with you. Well, Brady, he, He'd um, played roller hockey his whole life, but when he got on the ice, he was very good, like from the first time, so good. Um, uh, yeah, he was very good. I started skating a little bit before the show, just out of, because my whole family, I have a lot of family in Minnesota, so um, it's like in the family, at the family plays hockey, so my little brother tried playing hockey, so I was like, I'll give it a try, and I just got the audition. So I skated a little bit, but I was nowhere like superb. And we had photo, we got to do a lot of our own stunts, but like for the really good things, like towards the end episodes where we had to be like doing backflips on the ice bank, basically we had our photo, not really, but like we had our photo doubles do that because we were NHL level, but Brady and Kiefer were very good. (laughs) I noticed right Right when we started, everyone everyone was kind of on the, the same skill level. And then with the help of our incredible coaches, we all almost instantly after the first week, everyone was noticing differences and extreme growth with improvement. I like with Sway, Sway, she was a finger skater before. So if any and she said that she had to adjust to the blades. So if any of us were to go on finger skates, she would blow all of us out of the park, even even with the, even with normal hockey skates on everyone's incredibly good i noticed maxwell i remember in the pilot maxwell was good maxwell was really good and then when we took our covid break because we went on break for six months and we came back he was the skill difference was incredible he was he great great improvement i don't know what you did over that over that six months but don't watch tv before. and eat chips man that helps helps <laughs> a lot Watch Mighty Ducks sometimes. <laughs> so Sway, you're the expert. How how do you think the boys uh, did uh, in comparison to to you? Since you had the the education of it, shall we say? Honestly, I think they all surpassed me. Honestly, um, oh. they're all just they're, they're so good. They're they're really quick learners, and honestly, they inspired me to become a better hockey player. Um, Keeper O'Reilly is <laughs> out of this world. Um, he he came in on the ice. I was like. Who is that? Is he on our show or is he just like some hockey player guy? Um, but he just came in like he was so tall with like his skates and all. And he just came in looking like a pro NHL player. I'm like, who does, who does he think he is? He is so good. Um, but no, no, like people like Kiefer and, and Brady and Max, they're all just so good at hockey. And and um, I, I tried. Um, <laughs> me, Tegan, Bella and DJ and Luke, we all learned how to figure out. Uh, play hockey and so did everybody else it was it was really fun getting to learn from nhl players so i think everybody just improved so well and i um i think by the end by the end of the show everybody was like total different play, uh, total different hockey players it was really amazing getting to see everybody grow fantastic we talked about the nhl players and everything everything there did they did they teach you any of the hockey slang are you guys you guys you know know a bit of the hockey slang do you know some of it because i thought i would see if you knew some oh. No, Brady, I learned... Brady knows the most though. I <laughs> all I know is cup. I no, um, what do they call it? The biscuit. Biscuit, that's it. See, I even forgot the biscuit and oh I remember the food ones. I don't know. Um, <laughs> the biscuit and um what's the other one? 
Toss. Probably that one. I don't remember. Brady knows a lot of them. Like he'd go, "Yeah, give me the biscuit, the six degree angle, and 29 third. I'm like, "What?" <laughs> he knew what well, he was I, talking about. Okay, because I wrote some down, and I was going to maybe test you and see if you knew what were the real ones and what right. were the fake ones. But one right. of them that I wrote yeah. down was biscuit, which I yeah, never knew. I but biscuit means something different in the in the US because in in the UK, biscuit is something we have for a cup of tea. Biscuit over oh, yeah, there is like a it's like a it's like a, like a roll, isn't yeah, it? It's like yeah, a bread yeah. roll kind of thing. Okay, so the other one I was going to ask you was apple, but again, you probably know that already. Apple. Apple. <laughs> there's like, a slight, there's a hockey <laughs> slang word. No, uh, there's one called apple, but do you think it's a real one or do you think it's a fake one that's that fake. I've made up? Fake. Well, I like this game. That's fake. fake. That's. Fake. You think it's fake? It's actually real. It's a uh, slang word for an assist. Apparently. Oh yeah, mate, you had a good apple. Yeah. Uh, what about Galactico? Do you no. think Galactico oh. is a hockey slang word or not? It's true. Why do I feel like? What do I feel like I've heard that before? Uh, so Galactico is a nick is not real. It's a nickname for uh, they call it Galaxy. It's basically players that play for Real Madrid football team. Yeah. All right. In yes. Spain. Uh, what about Gino? G I N O. No. What do you think? I think that's fake. You think that's fake? Yeah. Sure. Apparently it's real. Otherwise, I don't, apparently it's I don't real. Know. It's real. Apparently it's a slang word for a goal. What? Apparently I so. Hey, hey, Google's not always reliable, and I'm from Britain, no, Google, so Google I don't know you very well. You want to quiz me about football? It's fine. You want to quiz right. me about hockey? I don't know anything. Uh, what about a hoser? Yes, that's real. That's real. I've heard that before. Yeah, that's that's real. What that, is, that is real. Yes, that's a that's uh, a slang for loser. Uh, oh, what about what about dinger? Well, it's D-I-N. a home run. It's a home run. No, a dinger is dinger's good one. Does that make it real then, or not? It's real. I think it's real. It's, a uh, it's real, yes, but it's from baseball. Yeah, it's a home run. A yeah. dinger is a home run. There I would think I would f- like a bar down, like you make it, you hear a ding sound. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Again, I'm British, so I'm just trusting Google. <laughs> uh, the last one I wrote down. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> The last one I wrote down was egg. Egg. It's another that's food probably one. probably real, real, just going by our luck. But I'm, yeah. I'm going to say no. I think it's real. Brady says no. Maxwell says yes. Sway says yes. Yeah. Yes. It is yes. Yes. Yeah. It, is a, it is a slang word used for a uh, zero, zero tie. Oh, that's right. A goose egg. A goose egg. Yeah. There we go. So you did pretty well. I think you did pretty Thank well you. there. Thank bit you. of fun for you. There you go. We had a bit of extra time, so I thought it'd be fun. Uh, but I think my time is pretty much almost up now. Guys, thank you so, so much for so playing much. along. So thank lovely you. to talk to you all. Good luck with the show. And uh, thank you so fingers much. Fingers crossed you get to do a season two. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? Indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!